Hey there, 276, welcome back. This session, we are going to start our time with chapter four. And in chapter four, and honestly, not just here in chapter four, but each of the next four chapters, four, five, six, and seven, each one of these sessions will take a pretty substantial leap um, when it comes to the nature of the stuff that we're talking about. In chapters two and three, it was, you know, foundational work, the see in, the see out. How do I communicate what's happening to a user? How does the user communicate what they want um, as far as the algorithmic design goes? And those things are, well, I mean, clearly important, right? Because those are what everything else is going to be based off of. But here in chapter four, we finally get to ask the question, how do we choose between alternatives? And that is one of the, the fundamental portions that all of computer science and all of application design and all of user interface is based around. When the user sits down behind a keyboard here and a mouse and they start to interact with the system that you have built, there is no way for the original systems designers to uh, like map out exactly what the user is going to do exactly every time. If a developer could do that, they should stop wasting their time uh, being a developer and they should start wasting their time picking lottery numbers because if they can get something with such a small margin of correctness correct, well, do it for personal gain instead. That's what I would do. Um, so here, we're going to start making decisions. We are going to look at uh, what we can do algorithmically to take input from a user, for example. Otherwise, we could take input from a file. We could um, take input in the, the, the you know, the, um, the, in time inputs, things of that nature. But what we will do is we will weigh the alternative between one or more alternatives and select on the right one. So here, chapter four, we get ready to finally make some decisions.